Is vertical farming the answer? As the world population continues to grow, the demand for food increases and there is a pressing need for innovative solutions to sustainably and efficiently produce food. One concept that has gained traction in recent years is vertical farming, but is it the answer to our food production challenge? In this video, we'll explore the potential benefits and limitations of vertical farming and discuss whether it has the potential to revolutionize the way we grow food. Let's dive in. Is vertical farming the answer? It is no secret that the future of agriculture is worrying and requires transformation. The average global population is increasing at a rate of just under 1% a year. In some places, this rate is significantly higher. There is growing concern over how traditional farming practices will be able to supply the rising demand for food. The world population is expected to reach 9.7 billion people by the year 2050. In time, it will become increasingly difficult to feed this expanding population. Modern agricultural practices and those used in the past have negatively impacted our environment. Deforestation, soil degradation and climate change have all been linked to poor agricultural practices. It's a serious issue as we have lost a third of our arable farmland during the past 40 years. The need to find better methods of food production to ensure food security for future generations has led to advances in cutting-edge approaches like vertical farming. These promise better food production with the added benefit of using less land and water. Engineers and biologists imagine a closed system farm with stacks of growth spaces producing a virtually limitless supply of vegetables, herbs and grains. You don't need much space to accommodate a vertical farm, a form of indoor agricultural production. In these grow rooms or growth chambers, specially built systems recycle water, maintaining sterility to safeguard harvests from pests and illnesses and offer ideal harvesting conditions throughout the year using artificial lighting and air conditioning. With global weather conditions changing, conventional farms will struggle to keep up with the demand as they only produce food when plants receive the right amount of sunlight and rain. The future utility of traditional farming is limited due to an increasing population and diminishing amounts of fresh water and available land. Vertical farming could help to make better use of these valuable resources. How vertical farming compares to traditional farming. Using traditional farming methods, the more the population grows, the more land we'll need to grow food to feed people. Land that simply isn't available. Clearing more land for farming means deforestation and ecosystem destruction. Farmland is finite. So vertical farming, which uses far less space than traditional farming in fields, will form an important part of the solution. Reducing the amount of land required for food production while increasing efficiency is an eco-friendly way to transform food production. It's better for people and the planet. Large, intensive monocrop plantations and factory farming have a lot to answer for. They are a huge part of the problem and cannot continue unchanged. Using a regenerative approach on traditional farms increases their ability to produce the crops and livestock that cannot be produced in vertical farms and reduces intensive energy use and avoids the financial investment sometimes required for vertical farming. By splitting food production in this way, we can also improve the landscape and biodiversity to help heal the land. Industrial and Recreational Application of Vertical Farming Vertical farming has many benefits, including high crop yield, reduced land and water usage and year-round production. Growing crops in vertically stacked layers using artificial lighting and controlled environment agriculture or CEA technologies is ideal for industrial and commercial applications. 
One of the most significant industrial applications of vertical farming is food production. By using a controlled environment, farmers can grow crops faster and with fewer resources than with traditional farming methods. This approach can help meet the growing demand for fresh, locally grown food while reducing transportation costs and the carbon footprint associated with shipping food over long distances. Additionally, vertical farming can allow farmers to grow crops in urban areas where land is scarce, providing fresh produce for nearby communities. Vertical farming is possible in urban areas, allowing farmers to grow crops where land is expensive and scarce, using rooftops, basements and shipping containers. This approach can help reduce the environmental impact of transporting fresh produce over large distances while also addressing the issue of food deserts in urban areas where access to fruit and vegetables is limited. Vertical farming is also an ideal platform for research and development. Researchers can use such controlled environments to study plant growth, nutrient requirements and disease resistance, allowing them to develop new crop varieties and more efficient farming techniques. Vertical farming can also be used to test the effects of various environmental factors such as temperature, humidity and light on plant growth. Vertical farming also has recreational applications. The most significant benefit may be its ability to create urban gardens, allowing individuals to grow their own fresh produce in small spaces. Vertical farming can be an excellent solution for individuals who want to grow their own food but do not have access to traditional garden or outdoor spaces. It allows individuals to grow many crops, including fruits, vegetables and herbs, indoors, on balconies or even on windowsills. Vertical farming also offers opportunities for individuals to experiment with different varieties of crops and to grow produce that may not be readily available in their local grocery stores. Vertical farming can be a therapeutic activity that provides a sense of relaxation and stress relief. Tending to plants has been shown to have a calming effect on the mind and growing one's own food can be deeply fulfilling. Finally, vertical farming can also be a social activity that brings communities together. Vertical urban gardens can provide opportunities for individuals to come together and share their passion for gardening, while also providing a source of fresh produce for their communities. The newest vertical farming methods Farmers can grow crops using several vertical farming methods such as aeroponics, aquaponics, hydroponics and bioponics. Let's see what these are. Aeroponics involves suspending plant roots in the air and misting them with nutrient-rich water. The plants grow in a closed environment where the water and nutrients are recycled, keeping the water contained. In aquaponics, fish are raised in a tank and their waste is used to fertilize the plants grown in a separate bed. The plants, in turn, filter the water for the fish, creating a symbiotic relationship between the fish and plants. Aquaponics reduces water usage and provides a sustainable source of protein in the form of fish. Hydroponics also involves growing plants in nutrient-rich water without soil. The plants are suspended in a vertical system and artificial growing lights are used to enable photosynthesis. This allows farmers to grow crops in areas where there is no soil or local soil quality is poor. Bioponics combines the principles of hydroponics and aquaponics. In this system, microorganisms break down fish waste into nutrients for the plants, creating a closed-loop system. Bioponics reduces water usage, creates a sustainable source of protein and produces crops in a soil-free environment. These four methods of vertical farming – aeroponics, aquaponics, hydroponics and bioponics – could reshape the way we produce food. As the technology matures, it is likely that even more efficient and sustainable methods for vertical farming will be developed making it increasingly attractive and viable.
Thank you for tuning in and exploring the topic of vertical farming with us today. We hope this video has shed some light on this promising technology and its benefits. But what do you think? Is vertical farming the answer to our food production challenge? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching.